quality education. It is one of the most important sustainable development goals that even has an underlying effect on the other SDGs. Having access to education is a step that lets us be more aware of everything around us and even the problems that we face right now. Lack of education it was what causes people to be uninformed of what is happening around us. The goal of this SDG is to aim at ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and promote multiple learning opportunities for all walks of life. According to the United Nations, 617 million youth worldwide lack basic mathematics and literacy skills. In the Philippines in 2020, 58.27% of Filipinos lack comprehension skills. However, since the year 2000 up to now, the target of universal primary education is progressing at a solid pace. In 2015, multiple regions have reached 91% enrollment rate in schools, and the number of children who have received education worldwide has been going up. By 2030, quality education around the world shall hopefully be achieved. How countries implement SDG 4 The Educational 2030 Framework for Action was among documents used to prepare the ninth five-year plan in Oman. Provincial education sector plans in Pakistan were based on SDG 4 gap analysis. For the Philippines, SDG 4 stressed the importance of strategic planning to achieve goals consistent with the international commitments. The Department of Education embarked on its first long-term educational plan going beyond the usual medium-term planning aligned with the six-year presidency. The new agenda brought to light educational sector data gaps in South Africa and prompted action to ensure that progress could be measured. SDG 4 raised awareness of sustainable development as a framework for educational planning in Suriname. In Tunisia, the SDG 4 targets and indicators were fully considered at all stages of preparing the 2016-2020 strategic education plan. SDG 4 also prompted an integrated multi-sector system bringing together various ministries, agencies, and civil society. Now for the application and benefits of quality education in architecture. As we achieve this SDG 4, we would be producing globally competitive learners with better qualities of work and ethics in the field of construction and design. Second is following the sustainability goal as well would introduce better passing rates and higher scores in architecture licensure examinations since learners have experienced better opportunities in learning. Next is having quality education would mean training high quality skilled professionals in production, construction, management, and service. People would lead and perform better in this fast-changing world. Next is this sustainability goal would also increase literacy rates which in return make professionals in the architectural field more capable of expressing their design and plans during the project and client collaborations. The fifth is training and teaching architectural learners with quality education will most likely create professionals who can better understand and apply the necessary building regulations in all of their projects since they could master and be taught more hands-on with the proper architectural practices. The sixth is since quality of education would hone students into their better selves, this goal would be producing architects who are more capable of troubleshooting and creating innovations in different architectural situations. And the last application is part of the architectural world is also experiencing architectural competitions. If all students and workers would receive quality of education, more of these individuals would be better skilled to participate, produce innovative solutions, and win architectural competitions. Taking everything into consideration, you now may be wondering, what is the significance of all these? What should you be taking from this? The SDG 4, as we said, is aiming for inclusive and equitable quality education and lifelong learning opportunities for all. Incorporating the Laudato Si by Pope Francis, Adrian Belling from the University Network for the Care of the Common Home said that education and inspiration are a part of what Pope Francis asks us to do and feel in his encyclical. But we must go past that in order to truly bring this encyclical to life. We need to address our unsustainable social, economic, and cultural structures from this ecological perspective, he said. Imagine our world with free primary and secondary education, affordable and equal access to education, universal literacy and numeracy, 
and Education for Sustainable Development and Global Citizenship. Very promising, isn't it? So let's begin now. Let us help build and upgrade inclusive and safe schools. Let us promote scholarships for developing countries. Let us make quality education attainable, sustainable, and lifelong for all.